It's Brendan Stowe here. I am an augmented reality artist, content creator, and it's about time I start making YouTube videos. What's my YouTube channel gonna be about? Ever since I was in uh, like middle school, I was like, I'm gonna start making YouTube videos about technology. And uh, let's just say I made a few videos back then and uh, I'm glad they didn't go anywhere. This is like the, the launch of my YouTube channel, essentially. I mean, we had those other two videos, those things, those are actually videos for my speech class. This is just a video for you guys. And this is the beginning of the channel. So, what we're talking about today, you either looked it up or you saw it in the title. We are going to take a LiDAR scan and we're going to bring this LiDAR scan and create an augmented reality experience with it. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that in Snapchat, Lens Studio, as well as TikTok Effect House. I've been beta testing TikTok Effect House for a few months now, and uh, it's just, uh, it's pretty similar to Spark AR and Lens Studio. TikTok told us like, don't tell anybody about this. So I couldn't make any videos about it until now. Uh, so now TikTok Effect House is out of beta. It's officially released. Without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. We're gonna go upstairs and get on my computer. You're gonna need three softwares to execute this project. First, go on to the App Store or the Android Play Store and download Polycam. This is, there's lots of different LiDAR, um, photogrammetry, you know, 3D, whatever thingies on the App Store, but this one is the best. So just download this, it's called Polycam. First step is we are going to take a LiDAR scan, just go into the app and do it. And um, I will include a screen recording of how to export that. And so if you have the paid version of Polycam, you can export the OBJ. That's what we want, we want an OBJ file. However, I don't have the paid version. I'm gonna always give you guys tutorials of free things. What you wanna do is export this thing, it's called a GLB file. So go ahead and export that. And ideally, if you have a Mac, just airdrop it to your um, computer. If not, just uh, put it in Google Drive or find another way to get it onto your computer. And then we're going to hop onto our next software, which you have to install. That's gonna be Blender. This is also a free open source 3D modeling software. And after this, we are going to export uh, what we make in Blender. We're going to either export it to Lens Studio or TikTok Effect House, depending on where you want to put it. All right. So you took the LiDAR scan that you have uh, from, and you put it on your computer, right? You open Blender and it looks like this. First thing you want to do is delete that cube. The next thing you want to do is go up here, press File, Import, GLT, GLB. So then drag and drop the file which you just got from Polycam. You just imported your file and it's gray, but you don't want it to be gray. So you, you wanna see what it looks like, right? So go up to the left top corner where it says object mode and we're gonna change that to texture paint. And after this, the most important part, this is why we're in Blender in the first place. We need to get the information of this paint, right? So we're going to go to texture paint. And I don't know why it's gray. We're gonna go back to shading and we're gonna go back to texture paint. And go up to the left top corner and press image and then save this image, right? So we're gonna save this image. Make sure you just title it something, put it somewhere where you can get to it. And after this, we are going to go back to layout, press file, export, and export the wavefront OBJ. So now that we have the OBJ file and the texture paint, you're going to open Lens Studio. And what you're gonna do is find the Simple World Mesh template. The first thing you wanna do is delete the prefabricated examples. We're gonna delete all these prefabricated examples. Where it says objects, you're gonna press the plus sign, do an empty mesh. 
press an empty mesh. And the next thing that you want to do is we're taking the OBJ file. So where it says choose mesh, uh, put the OBJ file there. Add your OBJ file to the empty mesh visual. And then what we're going to do is create a custom material to replace the default material. Press the plus button below the resources, and we're going to press simple PBR. So press the simple PBR. We're going to have to open the inspector. And yours should just be there. And where it says base 2, that's where we're going to put our image that we just got from Blender. The next thing that we have to do is just change the material of the mesh. So where it says default, we're going to put our symbol PBR there. And now it's essentially complete. All you have to do, it's too small to see. So press this scale tool and we're just going to make it bigger. So that's the complete tutorial. That's all you have to do. And it's, uh, I think I like pretty much invented this technique, which uh, I don't know why no one did this before, but so now you can publish the effect, you can send it to Snapchat and uh, whatever you want to put into Snapchat, you can do it. So here's, here's what it looks like. The, the, the room we were just in downstairs is now upstairs. I just recorded like a whole two minute segment in vertical before realizing I'm uploading this to YouTube and it has to be in horizontal. Anyway, the process to do this in Effect House is so similar to doing it in Lens Studio. And like the screen recording and editing is so time consuming that like, I'm actually not gonna show you guys. But I will say, if you can figure out how to do this in Lens Studio, you're gonna be able to figure out how to do it in Effect House. Um, so moving forward with this channel, there will be some cool things coming. Um, I talked to the city of Raleigh, where I live, and this summer I'm going to be painting murals like on the Greenway. So we're gonna be doing some videos with that. Also this summer, Snapchat will be sending me a package. We're gonna do a Snapchat unboxing. That will be very cool. And I've got lots of things planned. Um, we're going to be doing like tutorials and stuff that that's pretty much going to be the main focus of this channel is uh lens studio tutorials because i've gotten a lot of requests like on facebook groups and stuff to make these tutorials and you really just cannot fit this stuff in less than three minutes which is the longest a reel can be on instagram it can be three minutes no 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 yeah a reel can be three minutes on TikTok, one minute on Instagram, and one minute on Facebook. And there's, seriously, I've tried to do it before, and it just, they're like joke tutorials because it's like a speed run. So um, really the main purpose of this channel is to make some proper tutorials. And of course, I'm always trying to make the quality better and be a little bit more specific. So... Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe for more content coming in the future.